Retinal eye surgery is a surgical procedure that deals with the retinal tissue, which is the thin membrane on the backside of the eye responsible for vision. Retinal eye surgery is among the most challenging of microsurgical procedures due to its required precision and its constrained workspace. The surgery proceeds with the surgeon inserting a surgical tool through a sclerotomy port and visualizing the retina using a microscope. During the surgery, depth estimation of the tooltip with respect to the retinal tissue is a fundamental task yet very challenging due to the limited top-down view of the surgery and distortions caused by the patient's lens. In order to alleviate such difficulty, in this work, we propose to autonomously navigate the surgical tooltip to the desired tissue location on the retina. In particular, our application can be useful in retinal vein cantillation, which is a procedure that removes blockage in the retinal vein by injecting anticoagulants directly on the blood vessel. This is a common disease that affects 16.4 million people worldwide. Our work may also be applied for other applications of autonomous surgical tool navigation. In this work, we consider the task of autonomously navigating a surgical tool in retinal surgery. From a high level, our method employs a combination of model-based control and a deep neural network that learns from expert demonstrations a tool navigation task from a monocular camera. Here, we describe the high-level approach of our system. During retinal surgery, the surgeon is able to specify the 2D desired location to be reached via a mouse click. Using the 2D goal information and the current surgical image, the network predicts the distance and vector from the tooltip to the goal. The network's output is sent to the optimal control framework for trajectory generation. The optimal control framework was used to satisfy known kinematic constraints specified by the user, including the sclera constraint and the non-penetration constraint of the retinal surface. These constraints ensure the safety of the surgery. Here, we demonstrate how our method is utilized in a surgical scenario. Based on the surgeon's click, which is represented as a white square, the tool navigates to the goal in 3D space. Note that the surgeon is only required to specify the goal point in 2D space, and the network moves the tool in 3D space. Since estimating depth is the challenging task for humans, the network takes the burden of figuring out how to navigate along the depth dimension based on its training experience. Our method is robust to the goal position, changing midway through the trajectory. Note that the full version of all our demonstrations are available in the supplementary video. Here, we demonstrate the benchmark task of navigating the tool to various points across the retinal surface. The objective of this benchmark is to assess how well the network can navigate to various points across the retinal surface given various goal points. The white dots are the desired positions to reach and the blue dots are the final landing positions of the tooltip. The benchmark task was executed while satisfying the scalera constraint. The eye phantom was created using silicone rubber. The error in pixel space was converted into metric space for error analysis. We also performed a similar benchmark experiment in simulation. In simulation, the benchmark task was to navigate to 100 different locations across the retinal surface. Raycasts were used to figure out the exact desired location on the retinal surface for error analysis. We also tested our benchmark task in the presence of a forcep, which is a commonly used surgical tool that has never been encountered in the training dataset. Our method was robust to significant distraction, even when the forcep occasionally casted its own shadow. Our network could also be used to predict distance and direction across many points on the retinal tissue. These points were plotted and used for reconstructing the eye surface using least squares method. The eyes were approximated as a perfect sphere. In reality, human eyes have a slightly elliptical shaped retina. Given the reconstructed geometry of the eye, a blood vessel segment could be followed. Optimal control with scleral constraint and non-penetration constraint was used to make sure that the tooltip hovered above the retinal surface at 0.2 mm while ensuring safety at the sclera point. In conclusion, we have demonstrated the following tasks. In future work, we hope to demonstrate our work using more realistic tissues, such as using cadaveric pig eyes.